Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Today we will uh, continue to reflect on the life of uh, Joshua. So will you please uh, turn your Bible to Joshua chapter 1, verse 5. No one will be able to stand up against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. A beautiful promise that God made to Joshua. A promise that I have always claimed for my ministry and for my family that God will never leave nor forsake me, nor my family. Let me uh, share with you an incident that took place in the life of my family. I was just uh, posted to uh, St. Mark's Church, Butterworth. Rebecca was then uh, just three or four years old. And uh, Jeffrey was uh, seven years old. One early morning, very early, I suddenly heard my daughter crying. Jeffrey and uh, Rebecca, they used to sleep in a different room. And I, when I opened my eyes, I saw Rebecca standing beside her my bed and crying. I straight away knew that uh, she may have had a nightmare or some kind of a disturbance. So I asked her, darling, I always call her darling, I said, darling, why are you crying? She said, I'm scared, Appa, I'm scared. So I knew that uh, she may have had a nightmare or some kind of a disturbance. So I uh, carried her onto the bed, said a prayer. And she said, uh, Papa, sing uh, the song, uh, Shine, Jesus, Shine. I don't know why she requested for that song. I sang uh, that uh, song, Shine, Jesus, Shine. And then uh, she uh, just uh, slept off uh, peacefully. Of course, uh, I prayed for her, prayed over her. And for her now, she was sleeping beside a uh, appa. Nothing can harm her. You know, Appa is here, Amma is here, and nothing can uh, harm me. The kind of assurance. I said, don't worry, darling. Appa, is, Appa and Amma, we are here. Now, when we, look, when we read uh, the life of Joshua, now, God called Joshua to lead a nation. Now, Joshua must have known the people of Israel, their attitude very well. We know that uh, Joshua was involved in the first battle the Israelites had with the Amalekites. And Joshua was also part of the team that went into Cana to explore. And uh, Joshua must have witnessed the rebellion of uh, the spies, of those who had gone with him, excluding uh, Caleb. How they rebelled 
and said, no, we cannot go into Canaan. And how they went about stirring the whole community of our Israel. So Joshua must have known that uh, he's uh, taking up leadership. He's going to lead a group of people who are a steep necked. He's going to lead a group of people who are always uh, murmuring, grumbling, complaining. And for Joshua, it must have been a great challenge. And God called him and said, Joshua, you are going to lead these people into uh, Israel. And uh, it is in that context that God makes this uh, promise to uh, Joshua. He says, no one will be able to stand up against you all the days of your life. Saying, Joshua, don't be afraid. Now, don't be afraid of all these uh, people. Don't even be afraid of the nations that you are going to uh, conquer. Now, when uh, God said, no one will be able to stand up against you, God was not uh, tell, uh, telling Joshua, look, you're going to have a smooth sail. No one is going to oppose you. No one is going to cross your path. No, the assurance is no one will be able to stand up against you. There will be people who will uh, rise up against you. There will be nations that will rise up against you, but they will not be able to stand up against you. Now that's a promise that God made to Joshua. Now as we uh, read this uh, promise, it's very clear that uh, in life, We will uh, definitely have uh, problems. In life, we will definitely have uh, people who will uh, try to undermine us. We will come across people who will oppose us uh, silently. We will come across people who will oppose us uh, openly. We will come across people who will throw stones along our path to make our life as difficult as possible. Now I can share this with you because I've been in the ministry for almost 40 years now. Now it is, uh, life is full of challenges. Now, when uh, Paul prayed, he says, God, please remove this thorn. God said, my grace is sufficient for thee. God did not remove the thorn. I said, the thorn will be there, but my grace is sufficient for you. So the promise that God gives us is, don't be afraid. Now, as long as you live, you will have people who will rise up against you. But they will, they will not overcome you. That's what the promise says. Eh? No one will be able to stand up against you. Don't worry, Joshua. No one will be able to stand up against you all the days of your life. 
and goes on to say, As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. A beautiful promise. He says, I will, Joshua, don't be afraid. I will never leave you. Never leave you. I will never forsake you. What a beautiful promise. Oh, we have seen how our friends turn against friends. Sometimes even our family members how they turn up, turn against one another. Sometimes we just cannot understand. Hey, those those two guys were like a easy dengan kuku. They were so close. Now what happened? Now why are they fighting? Or why this guy trying to undermine the is friend but that is the world that we live in i remember a politician uh, who said yesterday's friend are today's enemy so yesterday because of a certain a political issue that took place some many years ago so this uh, very prominent uh, politician said Yesterday's friends are today's enemy because one of his uh, very close uh, friends had turned and he wa was opposing uh, this prominent uh, politician. But God is different. Jesus is very different. Now this is where we, whenever we sing the song, what a friend we have in Jesus. Now, I don't know how, how you feel when you sing that uh, hymn. Sometimes we sing the hymn over and over again, we just sing. But it is a beautiful hymn. The talks of our, about Jesus is faithfulness to us. So Jesus, God tells uh, Joshua, Joshua, I will never leave you, no forsake you. Now, we may, may not uh, feel his presence. We may not realize that uh, God is with us. Only during our Christmas season, we sing this song, uh, Emmanuel. And sometimes that's the only time we hear the word Emmanuel. Then after that, we wait for the next uh, Advent Christmas season before we sing Emmanuel. But God is with us. He is our Emmanuel 365 days in a year. He never leaves nor forsakes us. It is we sometimes due to our desire for these uh, worldly things. It is we sometimes who uh, try to uh, run from him. But he, the, his promises he will never leave nor forsake us. Going back to uh, the incident I shared with you. Now Rebecca was able to uh, sleep, even though she was afraid. But after coming and after the prayer and after lying down beside me, beside the upper, she knew that nothing will come near her. So we need to take shelter under the wings of the Almighty God. Now when we take shelter under His wings, 
the arrow that flies by day, pestilence talks in darkness will not come near our tent. I like uh, the promise that God made to the people of Israel in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse uh, 7. The Lord will grant that the enemies will rise up against you. Once again, your enemies will rise up against you. Now, just because we are Christian does not mean that we will not have enemies. It says, enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. In Joshua, they will not be able to stand up against you. Here, they will be defeated. They will come at you from one direction, but flee from you in seven. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 7. So let us uh, claim these uh, promises that uh, God has uh, made to us. He says, I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. And no one will be able to stand up against you. Your enemies will be defeated. They will come against you in one direction and flee in a seven direction. In seven. So we can uh, claim this promise. We can face each day in our life courageously. We need not be afraid of what awaits for us each day because we know the creator of heaven and earth is with us. He will watch over us. He will keep us safe and He will carry us through. A beautiful uh, Sunday school song, Jesus is a wonderful Savior. He will carry us through. Beautiful song that reminds us we need not worry about the storms of life because Jesus is with us. He will carry us through. So with that assurance, let us uh, lead our Christian life. Let us uh, sh show the world. Yeah, the world is full of problems. Now we have uh, COVID-19, we've got an uh, economic problem, we've got a uh, political problem, social, uh, there's a moral decay. Yes, we are living in the midst of all this uh, crisis but yet in that midst we can still live a victorious life a life filled with the peace of God in our heart why because God is with us he will never leave nor forsake us take a refuge under his wings and enjoy the peace that he Eshwas gives us. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.